My name is Poloko Pudimpakwa. I flew all the way from the kingdom of Lesotho. Lesotho. In the southern part of Africa to testify of what God has done for me in this ministry through his servant prophet Samuel Kakande. And I would like to say that uh, the people of Uganda, you are highly blessed and highly favored to have a man like him. I came to this ministry. It was after hearing about him from uh, the servant of God back in my country. He had told me that there is a highly anointed man in Uganda and you need to go and see him. And then I came. So on Thursday, I registered for prayer line. But I did not mention the issue of having the fibroids. So this issue of fibroid was discovered in 2006. And I even went for surgical operation. Then in 2010, they were back again. But then I decided not to go for surgical operation again because I've been operated several times. So when I came here, I did not even bother myself about the fibroids again. I mentioned other things when being prayed for. But on Sunday, when the man of God was preaching, the fibers came out on themselves. Whichever place you are seated, Jesus has seen you. It is his work to locate you. And touch your situation. He is looking at you. Whether you carry him to the situation. With your all confidence. You. 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 The following program may contain some disturbing images which may not be suitable to all viewers, but it is suitable for the glory of God. My name is Puloko Puding. I come from the kingdom of Sultu in southern part of Africa. My, my problem was the ovarian cyst. Uh, it has been an ongoing pro I mean, problem because in 2006 I went under I mean, a surgical operation whereby my valopian tube had ruptured and it was removed. And on the left side, they find that I mean, there were some cysts. So currently, as he was praying, uh, today, as he, he was talking and praying, um, I mean, I started bleeding very heavily. And as I talk to you now, there is, I mean, there is blood on the, on, on the floor. Brethren, watch the miracle. Watch the miracle that has happened to look, our sister. Look at this. Watch, brethren, what has happened. She has just told us that she came with a problem with ovarian cyst. Watch, brethren, on the screens of the television. The spiritual operation has taken place straight away. This is a lady all the way from South Africa. On a the South Africa. Brethren, watch, brethren, the various drops and clots of blood that have come out of our sister. Remember, she came with ovarian cyst. Let us clap our hands for Jesus for this instant, instant miracle. This trying time of cyst fibers. We can face it and speak a word of Jesus. To this situation, a word of faith in Jesus. The same situation of poverty. 
we can stand and speak a word directly it will dry up it will clear up I thank God for that. I went back to my country. I said, I will see if indeed I am completely healed. Then I went for my menses again. I didn't experience the excruciating pains that I used to, to have before. Before my stomach would swell, my breast would swell. I would feel nausea. I would have a terrible headache. And during the menses, I would experience very heavy flow. And the clothes will be coming out. And the menses would be stinking. And, and my menses were irregular. But, but then after uh, the, 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 the fibroids came out during that Sunday, I had the regular menstruation. There were no pains again. And there was no nausea. I said, no, this is the first month. Let me see the second month. The second month came also. And a similar thing happened. Then I felt that really I have to fly back again to Uganda. And to testify for what God has done for me. So I had to go to the the healing that I received here, I did not even pay a dime for it. I thank the Lord Jesus for this healing. So even if the, the men of God may not touch or pray for you, but your presence in this place is enough. Just open your heart and the spirit of the Lord will administer unto you through his servant. I thank Jesus. To God be the glory.